anything for them. So first step, let's go ahead and grab the gun. Then we're gonna grab the temperature controller, put this to the side, and we're gonna plug this in. That way we can get her warmed up and so ready to go. So it's pretty self-explanatory. This part obviously goes into the wall. This part goes right in here. Let's plug that in. We're not going to turn it on yet until we plug in the heating element. This part goes right in the front. So you want to line up. There's going to be uh, some connecting pieces in there. We're going to line that up right there. And then obviously to disconnect it, you want to press push at the top and then you will be able to disconnect it. So now that we've got this connected, uh, we're going to turn it on from the back. The light's gonna come up, you're gonna see here. So this is the temperature that it's gonna be at. If you're doing this distillate, I would recommend keeping it at between 125 to 130 degrees. It's a nice sweet spot, it's not too hot, not too cool where your distillate will start to harden up inside the machine. But you always wanna take in what you're gonna fill right away. You don't want this sitting in a long time inside of the carton. So we're gonna uh, set this. So right now, so it goes up to uh, goes up to 197. Right now it's set at 190. We're gonna take that down. We're gonna take that all the way down to. We're gonna put it at 125. So now it's down to 125. We're gonna hit set. Uh, this you can ignore. Just hit set again. Well, this is uh, we'll put this down to 7,000. So now it's setting to 125. This is slowly heating up. Uh, these heat up pretty fast. So keep in mind where you put these. You don't want to put them somewhere that it'll melt through it. These do get hot. Now we're gonna get our cartridge ready. So. Just to confirm, you still have, so you've got the O-ring on there, you cannot fill without an O-ring, you will damage the glass, and your cards will not come out good, as this is the seal, and basically it clicks, so if you're putting one, it only allows one liter to come out, without the seal, it's going to out. So, got this uh, glass piece right here, glass in case it's stainless steel, you don't want to degrade our tubes, uh, so we are not going to use any plastic because we don't want to degrade our turkeys and So to fill it, we're going to unscrew our tube, pop that open. We're going to make sure it's clicked in there. So this is clicked. We're going to put this fade down. This should not leak. If this is leaking, you guys did not tighten the lure lock part of so we're gonna take this, and it is very hot, so we're gonna just pour that, and make sure you have to pour it in all the way to the top. You cannot leave an air bubble. If you leave an air bubble, it will drip through and your cartridges will not be filled accurately. So we've got that filled to the top. We're just gonna screw this back on. Screw this back on just like that. Make sure there's no gap. Put this back on. Tighten that up and you guys are good to go. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any issues, any questions, hit our DM. Um, we got an Instagram, we got a YouTube. Um, email us however you guys want. Any questions, any issues with these products. I will personally help you guys out. I'll even get on a video call with you guys. FaceTime, WhatsApp, whatever you guys have.
that, and I will show you guys how to use it.